Rule Tag just had a giant update, and with it came many secrets that went under people's noses, literally. So, um, I think without further ado, we're gonna be getting into this. So for those of you who do not know, the real tag just had a giant update, full of giant changes, including Stump getting a complete revamp. As you can see, they've reorientated almost everything found in Stump, including where the message of the day is, the clothes trier on her thingy, and when you spawn in, you now spawn in on a hay bale like this. Um, what the sigma and what am I- Okay, let me redo that. Um, why the sigma is stump different? I know, that's what I said too when I first got on. We're the same, I promise. And the computer and game mode changer are now over here next to the entrance, or I guess exit, to stump. And it now has the, if you head outside, you're gonna leave the lobby kind of thing up there. I don't think it says it like that, but I, I do. So, yeah. Also, I just realized that I wasn't in a lobby for the whole intro, so like, stupid new tour. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that, but I did, so. Yeah. And if you enjoy any part of this video whatsoever, then click this button right here. Not the big one, the goaded one, the red one. And it's part of the video, and it helps me as a creator to grow and create a bigger community for you guys. And if you'd ever like to win some shiny rocks or just meet me, then join my Discord down below where I talk almost daily now, and I have been doing some giveaways, so join it if you want to get some new items for this new update. Enough of this, let's get into it. So in City, you now have the Wet and Wild item shop full of last year's summer and last year's Wild West cosmetics. There's a lot of them, and the Pride Jam decorations and cosmetics are still here. Although now, Gorilla Tech is starting to add in rotation. Here's the first secret, guys. New daily teas. All the way until the summer update, they're going to be adding a new daily tea, I'm assuming each week or each day, to hint towards what the summer update is going to be. So the first one's watermelon. I don't know what that means, so I don't think that's a hint. It's literally a wall. This is not a secret or anything, but um, they did actually not take out the Pride Jam pack. So you can still head on over to City and grab it. This is what it looks like, by the way. On... Off, on, off, on, off. I don't know if you'd count this as a secret, my editor will decide, but they have actually added three new secret balloons. Maybe it could be considered a secret. Whatever you want to do, editor. Um, so yeah, they have three new balloons. A blue one to simulate water, I'm assuming it has a water effect. A red one to simulate fire and flames. And a rainbow one to simulate a rainbow, obviously. It's very colorful, very vibrant, and they each cost 5,000. So if you'd like to buy one, hop over to the city. And you probably have to hop over to the city anyways, because we're going to be go checking out the secret map next for some more secrets. Let me know how you think about this new update down below. And the secret word will actually be coming up. I keep forgetting them. I know I'm a terrible person. So yeah, I will be including the secret word in a sec. So caves has not changed. But in mines, it is a whole different story. Let me show you what I mean. So entering caves, as you can see, it's all the exact same as the last update. And you might be thinking, then why are you down here, Newtor? And to that, I will say, shut up, Regnum. Because when you actually enter mines, you will notice literally nothing different. I just keep saying, when you actually do something and nothing's changing, uh, it's so stupid. Anyways, you come to the right right here. You go to the left and right again. And you will notice a whole new entrance right here. It was actually the thumbnail to my last video. So that brings us to, I don't know what secret number. It'll be on the screen right here. Oh. It's not working. Get on the- It should be on the screen now. Anyways, this is the new secret. It's a gate where the old crack was. And for those of you who are saying, the crack used to be there. There's gonna be nothing changing. Look at it now, buddy. You hater. It's here now. So when you enter it, you'll notice the gate. And you cannot sneak your hand through it, sadly. You cannot open it from the other side. You need an ID. And that's another secret that was added. So let's go find it. Now, this ID is either found in, I think, three spots. One right here. One close to where Lucy spawns. Or I guess PBBV, you keep correcting me. I'm sorry. Over here, right close to this. Although I don't really want to spawn the ghost, so I'm gonna leave her alone. Because let's just say I'm, I'm, I'm a very scared person. Person. And I've never found the secret ID over like in these by, by these double crates. Although maybe maybe that's a spawn point. If there are any developers watching this video, tell us where the spawn points are, okay? But the 99% spawn rate is right in this minecart. As you can see, it just sits here towards the wall, which makes no sense. But when you pick it up, it'll always form into your hand like this, with it saying no, 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 no. A black monkey, and apparently the name. I don't know if you guys know anything on this, then let me know down below. But they have purposefully crossed out the name and the eyes so that we cannot see who it is. People are suspecting it's either Lemon, the creator of Girl Tag or a girl take ghost. So like I said, just let me know what this means to you guys. So let's go scan it right now. Now, the reason this is so important in the game is because girls like is trying to add more storyline to their game. So if we scan this, as you can see, the gates magically open. We have to close this side in order to open this side. It's kind of like a decontamination chamber. It's good now. And we're now decontaminated. We'll enter into this room, close this. And you'll now notice the first thing is it's a cool little room. Second thing you'll notice is this ghost reactor. This is going to play a very important role in the next couple of updates. So here's another secret. Um, let me just chuck this at you guys. So, why is there a ghost reactor, and what does it mean? This right here, guys, is exactly what it means. Right now, we are safe. The text on here reads, Ghost Reactor Offline. 
backup power on, which means we're safe. Scans indicate dormancy period ending soon. And that means that right now there are no ghosts, no bad guys, and no evil spirits lurking in the halls, which is to our right. But soon enough, there will be. So it's telling us to get prepared by memorizing this obstacle course right here. But what even is this obstacle course? This isn't really an obstacle course. This is buttons to open different gates. So I'm going to set a camera up so that you can see me opening a gate and it'll open. So first, why don't we open the simplest one? The first one right here. I press open and it opens. Just watch. Presto, the doors open before you. Ta-da. I know, I just respawned here. These doors open by activation of the control panel that you just saw me use. So I think it's going to play a big role if the monsters do end up spawning and it's a very likelihood. And for those of you who don't know, this new mines map is almost an exact replica, mm, well, pretty exact, with obstacles in different places to make it harder to get around, thus making it more relevant to a ghost chase. I know, I'm scared too. Really hope they don't add ghosts, but at the same time, it would spice things up a lot. So yeah, another new secret is they've added a new physics, or I guess, like, what, what would that be called? Like a physics or like a new, oh, my hand stuck. So they've added a new button feature in the roll tag. I don't know if that's just, very, I think that's new to the game, so it's like a new, new physics. I don't know, you can open stuff. I got out before you- so yeah, when you adventure around mines, you won't notice anything different. There's no reactor or anything that you have to collect. Usually in a horror map, you have to collect something, like collect four eyeballs or something weird. Not in this one. This one is just getting us ready to, um, I'm assuming, run for monsters. And these gates are going to be very helpful in that. They're going to play in because if you think about it, when I was at the control panel, I can help you. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. The person that is activating the doors of the control panel is helping out his friends. So I'm assuming the control panel will either be to screw your friends or help them because you're going to be opening and closing doors for them and hopefully stopping monsters from getting them because it would like trap the monsters. And here's just a dead end. I do not know why they included this and there's a minecart. Maybe this will open up to a monster. That'd be kind of cool. What makes this recording even scarier is it was a really hot day today outside and now it is completely thunderstorming and I can actually hear my host shake right now. And I guess the last secret would be these right here. These like chamber things. You know what I'm saying? So these are what people think are ghost detectors because they have the same form factor as a ghost detector would with the buttons on the side and the opening on top. And then these right here are like, I don't know what even those would be, to be honest, but it is a vending machine. Hopefully it'll be functional soon. And then here is like a like a scanning machine. You'll put something in here and it'll scan it and tell you results on here. And then over here seems like a cage to test something. So you put like some sort of thing in here, like the birthday cake. Let's, let's put the birthday cake in here. Let's take a slice, put it in there. Oh, my hands are stuck. And it will put some deadly smoke in there and we'll see the effects or adverse effects on that cake. So this is going to play out to be a very big part of Gorilla Tech in the far future. Well, not far, the near future. What am I saying? This is going to be Gorilla Tech's new horror mode to counteract other games' horror modes. That's, I think I've been talking about that a lot, so I'm going to be going into some public lobbies and seeing what other people think about this new update and just in general getting a rating for it. Well, let's get into it. Guys, let me in. Let me in. Let me in, please. All right, so I have a question for you guys. Thoughts on the new update? What do you rate this update out of 10? It's like, it's like 7.5. Everyone subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. Do what that guy says. All right, 505. What do you rate this update? I rated a 5 because whenever you try to open the door as a monkey, they just try to close it. I know, they spam close it. Bye-bye. <laughs>